Hi, and welcome to Arthur L. Johnson High School. This is Crusader Country. We're your peer leaders. Your tour guides to let you know what to expect for the next four years here at ALJ. Because every moment goes by like that. Lauren, can't believe we're graduating. Don't know how we're going to leave these halls of ALJ behind. Oh, toughen up, will you, Tim? Where are you going next year? Harvard? All right, I'll keep it together. You'll make some great friends here. Create some wonderful memories. And of course, learn some unforgettable lessons. We might as well begin here. This is the front hallway where several of the math classes are located. Let's pop in on Miss Sakano's room and see what's going on. Go ahead and mark up your diagram according to what they're giving you. So you constantly see that these two angles are congruent. For every problem? For, uh, it's automatic. It's straight in the oh, direction. Oh, that's just directions for everything? Yep. Hi, I'm Mrs. Economo. I teach math over at ALJ. Um, there are a variety of math courses available for you next year when you arrive in the high school, starting with Algebra, Geometry, Algebra 2. You also have Math Analysis, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus. This sentence right here mm -hmm. should have been something that you did right off the bat. So if they're telling me that CG and AE are perpendicular, perpendicular tells me all levels pretty much have a standard level. There's an honors, and there's also a foundations, a lower level, if you're really struggling in the math classes. In addition to an excellent math department, we also have a fantastic English and Humanities teachers. There are classes in literature, journalism, and creative writing. Since we're going to be passing Mr. Navarjuk's room, we might as well say a few words about the drama classes. He also produces a spring musical every year. Hi, I'm Mr. Navarjuk, and I teach English and drama here at ALJ. Um, focusing on the drama, my drama class is a really great outlet for some students to um, get their nose out of the book, but it's a great way for them to get on the stage and have some fun and flex their acting muscles. Now, it's not an acting class, I want to just make that clear. It's more a class for um, breaking down walls, personal walls, um, certain students who don't speak very clearly. We work on a lot of diction, breathing exercises, and what this class does for them is it gives them skills that they could take into other classes. It's basically great for students who just need to try something they haven't done before and they have a lot of fun. So that's a little bit about our English department. But that's not the only language we speak here at Johnson. Andiamo tutti insieme. What did you just say? That's Italian for, come on, let's go. We're right outside Miss Ranahan's room. She can fill us in on some world languages. Ah, okay, so Francesco Camini is right. Ciao a tutti, mi chiamo Signora Ranahan. Hello, future ALJ students and parents. My name is Mrs. Ranahan, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the, the offerings of language uh, here at ALJ. We offer Italian, Spanish, and French, and we give students the opportunity to really immerse themselves in the language and culture of each language and have students understand that things are just not right or wrong, they're just different. With the grandparents' house, that's why you have to think of it as dalla casa. Do you see where we did what we did? We did from the house, dalla casa, di. This should look weird to you. What is it in Italian? So to get them to appreciate the languages, but also to um, teach them what to say, when to say it, and who to say it to. Miss Ranahan is fantastico. It's no wonder she was chosen teacher of the year. And the stairway is right here, which will bring us up to our top level science classes. We offer AP physics, chemistry, marine biology, and even environmental science. This is Mrs. Jacoby's room. I love it. She has ra live rabbits, skeletons, and iguanas. And she teaches two of the coolest science classes ever. Let's take a peek inside. Hi, my name is Mrs. Jacoby. I teach AP Biology here at Arthur L. Johnson High School. AP Bio is a lab base for those science-minded students where the kids can take a college-level freshman class here at the high school and they can earn college credits while they're here at the high school that they can apply towards their college education. Today we're doing a forensic scene, um, trying to investigate the crime scene um, and find out who killed whoever we're trying to find out who killed somebody and who died. Forensics is basically a hands-on class that we have here at Arthur L. Johnson High School. Uh, it's a class where the kids are exposed to um, scientific methods and scientific ways of, uh, of looking into a crime scene. And they learn how to use different techniques, they use different skills to analyze what the possible reasons of death were. Today we're examining a crime scene and we have to list all the evidence and then we're going to draw it like this and then eventually we're going to figure out who it is and how they got killed. Today we did a crime scene sketch. We've done other things. We've done crime scenes around the school where the kids have to collect evidence and then they have to match the evidence they found against evidence that 
Um, we found it on, on the victims to see if they could identify who the perpetrator was. Um, they'll be doing fingerprinting, they'll be doing DNA analysis, and um, all sorts of really cool stuff. Of course, math, English, and science courses are required in every high school. But Johnson also has some incredible electives. For those of you who want to start your own Fortune 500 company, this room is a must. Mr. Swick teaches marketing and business classes. How would you describe these courses, Lauren? I wouldn't. I'd let Mr. Swick do the talking. Great idea. All right, my name is Eric Swick, and uh, I teach uh, all the business education courses here at the high school. Uh, I'm currently teaching right now AP Microeconomics. We teach AP Microeconomics and AP Macroeconomics uh, every other year. My, my income elasticity is going to be different than your income elasticity. So it all depends on that type of person. The students are exposed to that. They can start actually as early as 10th or 11th grade taking one class one year and taking the other class the other year. And again, multiple choice, what might happen is they're going to give you four options and you might not know how to calculate it, but you know what? You could get a pretty good idea if you plug in numbers. Anything greater than 10% is going to give you an elasticity that's going to be greater than one, no matter what. Uh, in addition to the AP classes that we teach in economics, we also have accounting, uh, intro to economics, marketing, sports marketing, and fashion marketing, uh, in a, and money management for kids. So we, they, they're exposed to all different areas of business and personal finance that I think are really important in today's, uh, today's world. Speaking of big companies, everybody uses computers today. This hallway is a place to be if you want to learn to write codes or create some eye-catching displays in graphic arts. Ms. Rothman's class now offers PC gaming. Let's peek inside to see some geniuses at work. So I have been in the um, computer science class uh, basically throughout my entire high school career. I've been in both computer science 1 and 2 and intro to Java. I've also been in the new one that Ms. Rothman put up, which would be intro to games designing, which was probably my favorite. Right. Up at the very top we said paddle P equals new paddle, paddle P, and over here we said P equals new paddle. We told it where to start. And I have made Snake some, like, some version of Asteroids and many other things that were very cool, including um, the first level of the world's hardest game. It receives the information. If you look at Paddle CS, it receives the information and saves it in its X. This refers to the thing itself. Okay. So this is called the constructor. When you say new, this, this executes. It's not easy, but if you're willing to know the nuts and bolts of programming, it's really fun. This computer lab is Mr. Marsha's room, and his graphic design class is one of the best in the school. I remember one time I was doing the iPod project where we worked on the iPods and then we made different sports logos. It was wonderful. And here's the IMC where last year's ALJ student art show was held. Ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. So, Mr. Marson, how long have you been teaching in the art field? I have been at Johnson for the past eight years um, and I started off as the general art classes and then slowly moved on into uh, teaching open studio now. This is one of the best art shows that we've had. Uh, the open studio students did an awesome job putting their displays together. They worked hard throughout the year and it really shows in this uh, art show so I couldn't be more proud of them. Well it was uh, well it was great obviously. Um, it's very different than the art shows that we did at the middle school. Uh, it's really, it's great to showcase the um, the open studio kids and their, I thought their displays, you know, they brought a unique individual thing to each one of their displays. You know, in addition to just showing their work, you know, their displays would um, show us something about them individually. And it was great to have my students in as well and we had a lot of 3D work and we sold our prints for Japan to help them with the relief efforts. Um, so it was great, great. Now, we've showed you some of Johnson's required classes, but there's also an incredible amount of electives. Did you let them know that in addition to AP classes, you can also take other courses for college credit, such as public speaking and business law? It's a great way to get started on your college career. What do Snoop Dogg and Princess Leia have in common? <laughs> this is a Union County College course called Public Speaking, English 129 from the English Department, and these students at Clark High School are earning three academic credits while they are still seniors in high school. Don't be a senior slacker. 
<laughs> We're coming to the end of our tour. But before we wrap up, there's one more room that you've got to see. This is room 16, our TV studio. We do our morning news show, ALJ Today, from here. It's like KTV on steroids. You learn some great skills in multimedia storytelling. You create everything from news reports and commercials to music videos and sports highlights reels. In fact, without this class, you would have been staring at a blank screen the whole time. You're going to love your four years here at Johnson. <sighs> Can't believe this is our last year here. Will you toughen up? Okay, I got this. There's one more thing you need to do before wrapping up. What's that, Tim? See this closet here? This closet is where Mr. Scarlett keeps his closing montages. Closing montage? You know, video highlight reels. Let's roll. Welcome to Crusader Country. Go, Go Johnson! Johnson.